Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to overload the stream insertion and stream extraction operators for your class. What do I mean by that? Well, as you can see here, I've made this uh, dummy class, right? This class really doesn't really do anything other than hold an integer. And I've instantiated a foo object, we'll call it F, on line 15. What if I wanted to do something like this? What if I wanted to read from the keyboard a value straight into foo? What does that mean to say cn to a foo object? Or what if I wanted to you know, see out a foo object? Well, what does that mean? Well, the short answer is, is that it means whatever you want it to mean, right? Well, how do we define what we want it to mean? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to overload these operators here for you know, cn and see out. How are we going to do that? Well, as it turns out, overloading these operators is a little different than the way you would overload you know, all the other operators for a class. In IO stream, in this header file, there's actually some standard functions um, that define what these operators are. And so what we're going to actually end up doing is, in fact, overloading functions. And then we're going to make those overloaded functions friends of the foo class. In that way, these friend functions that we overload, which are the insertion and extraction operators, are going to have direct access to this variable bar, and it's going to simulate. You know, it's going to be as if C in and C out directly are our overloaded operators uh, for just class foo. Right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make these operators friends of the foo class. So how do we make functions friends of a class? We use this friend keyword, okay? And then we specify the function prototype following uh, the friend keyword. And that's gonna say, okay, uh, this particular function has access to my private parts. They're our friend. We're gonna specify uh, the uh, insertion and extraction operators as a friend of our class. That'll give them direct access to our bar variable. Okay, so one of them is going to be the stream insertion operator, and one of them is going to be the stream extraction operator, which again are defined as functions within the IO stream header. Okay, now these functions both have names that are similar to, uh, or the naming convention is similar to how you would overload other operators like addition, subtraction, um, you know, relational operators, logical operators, that sort of thing. Okay, so we have this operator in the angle brackets for both versions. Okay, and then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to finish off the details. We're going to have to um, provide a return type and a parameter list. Okay, so for this first operator, this is going to be uh, the operator we use with C out. Okay, and so what we're doing actually is we're, we're hijacking the stream, right? The stream um, that is going to have as its source, you know, a memory location and its destination as our um, screen, right? So for use with C out. So what we need is we need to use the O stream, which stands for output stream, and we have to make that by reference, okay? And then for the primer list for the prototype, we're going to take O stream by reference. And then also we're going to specify the object that we're going to use this with. And in this case, it's going to be foo. Okay, we're going to make it by reference so we don't have to do pass by copy and worry about that. But we're also going to designate this parameter's const because we don't want to inadvertently change the source object. Remember, what we're doing here with Cout is we're just retrieving, we're going to be retrieving the value inside of uh, foo, inside that bar variable, and sending it to the screen. We don't want to inadvertently change bar in any way. We just want to extract it, okay? So that's what the prototype's gonna look like for that operator. Now, what if we wanna do CN? Well, the syntax is very similar. We're just gonna be tapping into the input stream, okay? And we're gonna have, a, again, a very similar syntax, but notice here that our second parameter, foo, it's not const. Why? Because we're going to be reading into the foo object, and we're going to be setting that bar variable. 
So in that case, we're going to be changing the object so we can't make that const. Okay. And then again, this class, bare and minimum, just to show you how to overload these operators. You know, you obviously in your own classes, they'd be a lot more complex than this. Okay, so here we've, in lines 10, 11, we've designated um, these two functions as friends of the class. Now we actually have to go and provide the overloaded definitions for these functions, okay? So how about we do, oh, we'll do the uh, overloaded version for use with C out, with stream insertion operator. Okay, so return type, O stream. Okay, and the name of the function. Okay, and let's name our parameters. Now notice, you know, there's no, you know, we don't have the class name here and we don't have the scope resolution operator. Why? Because these functions, they're not part of the foo class. We're overloading functions that are defined in IO stream and then we're making them friends of our class. So in this case, we're not providing the name of the class here with the scope resolution operator. Okay. So what are we going to do inside this function definition? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to want to uh, place something inside of the stream, right? This is a stream that's going to go to the screen, right? And we've named that stream. We're referring to it. We're using a parameter to access it, referring to it as O. And what's the information, the data that we want to throw in that stream? Well, it is the bar variable for the object that's going to get passed to this thing. Okay, so we'll just say f.bar. Okay, so that will extract the data inside the bar variable and throw it in the stream. Now that we've done that, we've got to return the stream. We've got to send it back on its way. So we're going to grab the stream, put a value into it, you know, the value that's inside of f.bar, and then we're going to send the stream on its way. Okay. okay, now we're going to do a similar thing when we want to use cn, for example, when we want to use a stream insertion or scratch, excuse me, extraction operator, but we're going to do in the opposite direction. Okay, so it's going to be the input stream. So let's flip these things around. Okay, and it's I stream. I. We'll call it that, that stream I. And uh, we can't make this cost, right? Because we're going to be changing this foo object. We're going to be putting something inside a bar. Right? So we're grabbing the stream through its the first parameter. And we're going to extract a piece of data. And we're going to send it into our object into the f.bar variable. And then we're going to give the stream back. Now, you know, I can extract values and, and insert values in any combinations I want. It's just for this particular class. I've only got one variable, so we can knock out a, you know, a lot of the noise. Right? I could have had 20 more variables in here, and I could have had as many statements as I wanted to inside these function definitions to do extraction and, and insertion and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Anyway, so there's two function definitions. So this function definition here, this is going to be for use with C out. And then this function definition here is for use with C in. So this is going to allow us to write statements like like, uh, like this. C in uh, F or C out F. You know, if that's the name of our object. Um, or C in. F. Okay. All right. So now inside of main here, I already have my foo object declared, and then I've got a couple statements. You know, CN statement that's going to wait for the user types of the, the keyboard, and then we'll stuff that into our F object, which will be stored. The value will be stored inside of that bar variable, which is a member of that F object, and then a CL statement that's just going to extract that and send it back to the screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile this and test it out. iStream and using standard OStream. Right, so these are the objects, or these are the names of the things that we are going to be using, the names of the streams we're going to be using to um, redirect our data. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile this and try it out. All right, so it compiles. Let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so hit M, 
and it's waiting for the user to type something at the keyboard. That's what line 34 is doing right there. There's our CN. And so then I say, I don't know, 28. Okay. And then the very next statement, C out. What do I see? 28. Where'd that 28 come from? Well, line 34, stuff 28 inside of bar. Line 35, extracted 28 from that bar variable for this instance of the foo object. Okay. So that brings this video to a close. In summary, what I did was I showed you how to overload a couple of the operators, stream insertion, stream extraction operator, highlighted to you that these, when we do these overloading of these operators, what we're actually doing is overloading uh, functions and we're redirecting streams and the streams we're redirecting, redirecting are I stream and O stream, input stream and output stream. Showed you that we had to make define overload the functions and that we had to make those functions friends of the class foo in order for it to work and then finally I showed you an example of these overloaded operators in action okay thanks for, as always thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to send me an email or stop by my office hours okay well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time